Um, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us here at the Eurogroup press conference in Bratislava. And uh, I want to also take the opportunity to thank our Slovak uh, hosts for the uh, excellent organization and the splendid venue where we are today. We welcomed at the Eurogroup uh, Petteri Orpo, the newly appointed Finnish Minister of Finance. He was with us for the first time. And we also welcomed Alenka Schmerkol, who is the acting Slovenian Minister of, Minister of Finance. So this was our first Eurogroup after the summer break. Um, many challenges ahead. Uh, reading uh, uh, the newspapers which you deliver to us, thank you for that. Uh, you sometimes get the atmosphere of doom and gloom over the Eurozone. I'd like, like to say that the economic recovery is progressing. Uh, growth returned to almost all of our countries and becoming stronger year on year. Unemployment going down in most of our countries. So there are some very uh, positive signs throughout the Eurozone. Uh, growth keeping up with the US. Um, that's also an interesting perspective to take. And um, the supportive policies that we have in place, uh, monetary policy, support for investments, structural reforms, improving the quality of public finance. On all of those areas, we will continue to push the effectiveness of what we do and uh, see what further steps are needed. Today we uh, discussed, first of all, the state of affairs in Greece. Uh, we took stock of the progress. There are a number of milestones still pending to fully complete the first review. Um, and coupled to those are further disbursements. So we took stock of those and heard a little about the issues at stake. Um, there was a general feeling that we mustn't lose uh, the time, the time scale that was designed and agreed in May. So more progress is needed and we strongly encourage the Greek government as a whole uh, to uh, speed up the implementation of the remaining milestones. And that of course can also help in timely start and completion of the second review and work on that will have to start very soon also. Um, against this background, we were uh, happy to hear from our Greek colleague his commitment mm -hmm. to do that work very quickly and we will follow that closely in the uh, coming weeks. Also, we discussed three fiscal issues. First of all, we looked at the issue of early and late submissions of draft budgetary plans. We've had that a couple of times in the last years, um, and I'm glad to announce that all ministers are committed to uh, submitting draft budgetary plans uh, from now on in the window of the 1st of October, between the 1st and the 15th of October. So uh, let's not have uh, any more uh, early submissions uh, let alone late submissions in that time frame. Uh, the draft budgetary plans need to come in. That will also allow the Commission to synchronize the um, assessment, the horizontal assessment of the draft budgetary plans that then follows. Um, uh, also, the issue uh, was discussed uh, on what a caretaker government should do in that period. Uh, and the general line, of course, being that they can submit a no policy change uh, budget. On these two elements, um, the guidelines of, I believe it is the two-pack, will have to be adjusted. Uh, and that work will now proceed and come back to us in ECOFIN. Secondly, we took stock of the Commission's preparations and the dialogue with the European Parliament in relation to partial freezing of structural fund commitments following the Spanish and Portuguese EDP. So the Commission informed us on the state of play there and I think we all agree that that process needs to be completed as soon as possible. Uh, as you know, the Spanish and Portuguese governments need to, on top of their draft budgetary plans, at the latest on the 15th of October, uh, submit a specific report on uh, um, effective action that they need to take. I'm sure the Commissioner will say more about that. Third, we were informed on the progress on the technical work 
uh, on making the Stability and Growth Pact um, simpler, more predictable and understandable for all of us. This is about the indicators needed uh, to um, uh, see whether people, whether countries uh, comply to the pact. This is a debate we had in Amsterdam during the informal ECOFIN uh, and Eurogroup in, uh, ECO in uh, Amsterdam. There's good progress and we should be ready to take some decisions on these uh, budgetary indicators uh, later this year. So we will come back to that uh, probably in November. Finally, we held uh, another discussion on the quality of public finances uh, in our countries. We've discussed it before. Today we focused on spending reviews, which is to Ministers of Finance a very useful and effective way uh, to get a better insight and improvements on the effectiveness of a spending, public spending, um, uh, to assess the priorities and to ensure that public money is spent uh, wisely and effectively. Um, so we exchanged information uh, experiences uh, on this topic, a number of uh, ministers informed us how they use the instrument, how it works out, and we have designed a number of common principles on the use of this uh, instrument of expenditure refuse. Um, and we will come back to that in, our, uh, uh, in the first half of 2017 and on a regular basis after that. So those were the key issues today. Let me give the floor to Commissioner Moscovici.